Well, as the as development changed and evolved and more and more attention was given to participatory processes and to human development, so our approaches in communication also change. Uh, we were able, thanks to projects which were financed in the countries, to develop a series of methodologies making use of new tools for those years. For example, video was one of the first tools we used. We developed projects in Latin America for the training of farmers using video. Also in Mexico, we used video and we used what we called participatory planning. Sometimes getting together with the farmers and making use of video to record their ideas and their perceptions. In Africa, radio, rural radio was considered to be the most suitable means for reaching large quantities of people over distance, large distances. And as the years went, also the tools changed. For example, the, uh, the arrival of new computer technologies and ICTs changed the possibility of reaching farmers in distant areas. And there's no doubt that the revolution of the cell phone has meant now that farmers in remote areas can access markets, prices, technology, and establish a dialogue with research and extension workers that was not possible in the first years of communication for development. And if we think of what has happened in the Arab region, starting in last spring in Tunisia and in Egypt, this would not have been possible without social networks. There are millions of people in Egypt who have Facebook and who used Facebook to dialogue and discuss and promote the political revolution.